Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I was literally typing, we're starting right now. And, and indeed we are. <laughs> so it is the first actual, actual episode, the first demo session for oh. the Bad Website Club. Uh, I'm so sorry. I had a... Wrong? Oh, <laughs> did something already go wrong? Something already went wrong. I, I had a, I had I had our stream opened on some tab, and it was and it was like you were talking to me twice, and I was like, "Where is it? Where is it?" <laughs> you feel like make it stop, make it stop. I decided that the very very first thing has to have something go wrong, so I thought I'd go ahead and introduce more risk factors. Um, so I've got a very it. hot pot of tea right in front of me, so right here, and I've got. The ugliest cat, I, all of my cats are very ugly, but I've got my my worst cat, I, my favorite, right here staring me down, just waiting to tip something over. Uh, so folks who are watching along, if you see cats, I can't see the background very well. If you see cats doing bad things, please, please, please let me know what crimes they're doing so that I can punish them at a later date. Oh, dear. So we're supposed to be making bad websites, right? Absolutely. Um so we will be kicking off. This is our first demo session, which I'm really excited about. Um, just to give some context as to how this works. Uh, on Mondays, we'll have our demo. Some, we're being joined by a lovely guest to show us a tool. Um, and then tomorrow, every Tuesday, we're going to go off on our own and do some stuff and make a bad website with it, or maybe a good one, hopefully. But folks, join us. Do it live with us. Send us your significantly better websites than ours. Obviously, we'll proof them before showing them off for you. But <laughs> well, I mean, I trust the internet, but I trust the internet this much. Uh, <laughs> so who, who's joining us? Oh, so the, the, the first season we're doing chunked is that you don't need to learn to code to make a bad website. So what are we going to have I'll be looking at next first? Why don't we bring on our esteemed guests and instead put me in the mod box? Oh. That seems like an easy way to do it. Well, it is my esteemed joy, joy to bring on Yoav. Hey, hey, Yoav, you're live. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Hi, guys. Nice to be here. And bye, Jess. <laughs> we still love you. <laughs> So uh, Jess is going to be hanging out as well, helping out with some of the mod box stuff, and then you know we'll we'll trade in and out as we go. Um, but essentially, what we're doing here, you're going to be joining us to teach us all about Wix and kind of kicking off our first uh, season of the Bad Website Club, which is all about making websites with little to no code. Folks, if you're interested in uh, checking out our schedule and what we're going to be doing, it's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit rough design wise, but I'd love to share with all of you the schedule for what's coming next. And also to briefly remind you that, you know, we're hanging out here. We're being good people. We have a code of conduct. So please go check it out. I need to shorten this URL. It is, it is very, very long. But yeah, we expect all attendees and of course guests and ourselves to behave to uh, a certain degree of of loveliness. So um, yes, welcome. And thanks. Thank you so much, Yov. Um, I'd love to give you an, uh, an opportunity to introduce us to yourself, please. Great. So Ramon, th first of all, thank you and Jess for putting this together. Um, I did watch uh, the launch party and I'm totally excited and a little bit nervous to be the first one. First of all, after <laughs> some amazing speakers at the launch party, but also, you know, to, uh, um, to launch essentially the series for the Bad Website Club. I hope I'll set the standard here and others will be better and build on the success. But um, this is this is an amazing initiative and really hats off to you guys. Um, in a nutshell, hi everyone. My name is Yoav Cohen. Uh, I am speaking to you from the headquarters of Wix based out of Tel Aviv. Uh, I have been at Wix for five and a half years. I head a team that does education and, uh, and skill building and knowledge and everything else on our product. Um, so my team um, does um, everything training related to how to build a website with Wix. Talk about good, bad, good website, bad website. We're not interested <laughs> in that today. We're here to play. And I'm really looking forward to showing you guys a bunch of the tools that we have um, that will hopefully get your creative juices going. Um, and, uh, and really, sure, any questions that you have, we'll be happy to answer them later on. 
We're ready to go, Ramon. Anything else we want to add before uh, we get started? I think we're good to go. I just want to say thank you so much once again. Let's uh, kick us off right away. Could you perhaps, I mean, I'll, we're going to go ahead. You've gone ahead and prepared a demonstration for us, which I'm so excited about. Um, let's, let's bring it in. Is it cool to go ahead and share your screen? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So the power is all yours. Folks, if you're watching, let me just bring that up again. Please ask us any questions you have. We'll do little Q&A breaks and we will let uh, Yoav answer them as we go. Sounds good. So um, everyone, I hope for, I hope you can see my screen. I see it uh, in front of me. So hopefully that's all working. I'm going to give you guys, first of all, before we dive into the actual editing part or building part of a website, uh, let's talk about Wix and why we're here as a company. The whole idea of Wix, and this started way back when they started the company, our founders, was to give people the freedom to create their own online presence the way they want to, basically to almost like democratize freedom, the freedom to create online. Uh, Ramon mentioned before, it's a, with little or no code. So today we're going to do something that has zero code involved. So anything that you hear about HTML and CSS and JavaScript and all these different things. No, we're here to play in our playground within Wix. You can already see the first screen um, here on uh, in front of you. Um, and really what, what I'm interested in showing you guys is, again, not, not the way to build a website that, you know, we're going to talk about conversion and getting things out there and um, uh, any, um, uh, hold on, let me just make that screen a little bit bigger as I was requested. There we go. Um, so we're not here in, in uh, to, to talk about, you know, the uh, making a website that's going to necessarily convert and do crazy things. No, 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 no. We're here to discover the tools that we're offering every single person online to create. And you don't necessarily, again, need to know any code and that's all the fun of it. So Let's start. Let's dive straight into it. We're here on what we call our templates page. This is the place where we can start and looking at all the different templates. And you, anyone who has a little bit of experience in the web world will know that a lot of different uh, management systems out there do offer templates. Uh, so this is ours. And we believe that the beauty of Wix and the beauty of our templates is that these are amazing starting places. This is like the, the, the starting point for you to take something that was designed by our own designers, by the way, using the exact same tools that are going to be in the hands of every person who starts using Wix uh, and to make it your own. So if you're building a personal website, you can see that we already have here on our most popular templates, you know, a creative CV with uh, someone's picture and a couple of uh, words about them over here. Um, and if we want to dive down and see, uh, we have also blogs and other things. But if you really have an idea of what you want to create and you know kind of what you want to do, you can start diving into our different categories here. And you can see that we have a ton of them. Now, I'm not obviously not going to go through all of them, but let's just say, for example, one, if I wanted to now sell something, a product that comes from fashion and the clothing industry, well, I've got a category here and you can start diving into all these different categories and view templates that are really created with the user experience that like UX world involved, like, you know, so that we can convert people and again, have them, you know, purchase from us, but, um, but also with the visuals and everything there. So you're really not starting from scratch. And whenever I explain this, there is always someone who raises their hand. Uh, maybe one of you here was, was already put in the comment box. I think it was a, what, what if I do want to start from scratch? So here's where we have blank templates and you can also go, and start from scratch. And what that's going to look like, oops, excuse me, is going to, it's going to look like this. It's basically the canvas, a blank canvas. Sorry, hey, yes, Ramon. Love. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but just to make sure oh, that everybody can see, would you mind please uh, bumping up the font size on your browser a little bit? Oh, so uh, the I'll zoom level. The, there we go. Is that better? I think that looks good. Uh, folks, if you're watching uh, and you want us to, to, to bump up the font size, please let us know. I'm also wondering if this might work, having you like this. Let us know, folks. Whatever works. Okay. Sounds good. I'll let you um, I'll, we'll go back. Sounds good. Okay. So anyway, so this is um, a blank template. Okay. Something that you can start off with from scratch if you have those creative juices that we said flowing and uh, uh, or you're a designer, you come from the design world and you prefer not to start from a template. So you can start over here. Uh, and uh, also, this is a good place to show you a small preview of what our editor looks like. And the Wix editor, 
um, is really designed to be, first of all, a place where your creativity should be the focus. So you can see we have a nice big section here, uh, all this here in the middle, on which we can add sections and images and texts and oh, a ton of different things that we'll go through in the next few minutes. Um, and our tools are around here, around the site. And we'll get to using most of them. Um, yes, Ramon, you're going to interrupt me again. <laughs> One more time. I'm so sorry. I got a yeah, no favor from Matthew to ask here. If we could zoom in a bit more, please. A tiny bit more. Okay, so um, something like that maybe should work for us. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Sure. Um, I'll stop interrupting. No problem. I'm going to also zoom in. I'll make sure that we zoom into uh, any other tabs that we open. Um, but basically, again, going back to, and thank you, Matthew, for uh, for raising that. Um, basically, we're going to dive into all the tools that we see here around or the relevant tools that we see around here so that you guys can, again, start playing around with this playground uh, where we call the Wix editor. But now for I'm just going to go back here to our templates because I don't want to start from blank today. I actually do want to start from a template um, and show you guys how, again, to maybe you know, choose because this is a this is a tough page, honestly. Because on the one hand, we have a ton of choice, which is amazing. We have lots of templates that we can choose from. You can see the number of categories that we have here at the top, um, and a lot of choice is good. And a lot of choice also means that it could be difficult for me to exactly dive into exactly what I want. The beauty of this is that I can hover over any one of these templates. I can open them for viewing um, in a new tab. And I can scroll through here and see, is this right for me or not? So maybe I like the colors and the fonts. And again, everything here can be changed. I like the layouts. I like the features. Maybe yes, maybe no. And if I don't necessarily think this is a good starting point for me, I can always just close that tab and go back and look at something else. And again, these are basically the templates that we have here are fully blown Wix websites. Just save these templates that are ready for you to start going into and personalizing for yourselves. And that's what we're going to do, I think, with this guy. Let's just have a look at it. Okay, we have here, everyone's talking about AI and you know, all this artificial intelligence stuff. So let's, you know, ride on that wave. Um, and we have here, when you see, when we open this, um, a pretty sleek website. In this case, I'm guessing about, you know, um, autonomous vehicles, which, you know, I may not necessarily want to be building a website about autonomous vehicles, but there's something really cool about this layout, about, um, um, you know, this very simple menu that, that I ha have here on the top, the CTA, this call to action button, which is very prominent and I like it. These are the things that when I looked to create this demo that I connected with. And so if I want to start working on it, I'm just going to click this edit button and it's going to open a new tab for me, hopefully with the right resolution. Let's see. Um, we'll just zoom in if we need to here in a second. Um, but this is going to open that same Wix editor that we saw previously, the blank one. Um, and it's going to open it with the exact same design that we saw from the template that I just had open and with all the tools that we saw on the blank template. So we're going to give this a second just to load. Uh, and when it loads, we'll start creating our own designs. And uh, there we go. It's actually already here. Um, and we're going to, again, instead of riding the AI wave and making this you know, uh, um, an artificial intelligence website, actually, let's take it, make it more colorful. Maybe like we'll do a unicorn thing or something. Um, and, you know, we'll, again, base the idea of what we want to do here you know, of the template, but change it around to really be our own. And again, we're going to mess this up. It's not necessarily going to be um, the, the most beautiful thing in the world, but that's why we're here at the Bad Website Club, you know, to try out things and make it our own. And again, this guy saw this from the launch party, and I love the idea of, you know, done is better than perfect. That's what we want to get. We want to get to done and not perfect because me, by the way, as my own website owner, and I have my own website, wow, uh, you know, perfection, no. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in having my work, everything that I want out there so people can view it and give me feedback. So let's dive into here what we have. And we're going to go through a little, a few of the tools that we have that we see here uh, and then start editing. We're going to start, you know, again, using the starting point to, to, to make this, the, this thing our own. Uh, so we saw the canvas here um, in the center. We saw it previously on the blank template. Let's look at the Wix tools that we have that are relevant, again, for cre for creativity and design that we can start working with. I'm going to start here on the left, okay? And we have these, you know, uh, um, these labels that I'm going to keep open for a second just so that we can uh, get an idea of what each does. 
Um, and we're going to mostly use these top four. So adding elements, when I open this, you'll see it in a second, we'll have a ton of different things that we can add to our website. And for all you designers out there, this is going to be your best friend because when I'm looking for a text element or an image or a video or a transparent video or for a section or for whatever it is that I'm looking to do, I can start adding that here between our add elements and our sections. And sections, in a nutshell, are basically pre-designed areas or sections that we can add to our site and we'll see that those can be fully customized there's nothing here that you can't edit and make your own with a little bit of drag and drop pages and menu we can add pages to our website we can edit our menu edit seo and other things that i'm sure you guys will touch on when you have a website and you need to again get it out there to the world and site design site design will we have themes here both between our fonts and our colors that we can fully customize. And we'll demo this in a little bit. So you can see the difference, both, you know, both with you know, editing maybe one of our fonts because we want to make it a little bit more sleek or a little bit more fun, or changing the entire design of our website with one of the fonts and color themes that we have that come out of the box. So that's here on our left side. We'll, uh, um, we'll touch on these um, when we start editing and playing around. Just a couple of other things that are important here. If you wanted to go through our website, again, here we have a fully blown template that has a number of other pages on it. So we can go to each one of these pages, customize them, delete them, add new pages and so on and so forth. But while I'm editing my website, I can uh, um, scroll between various pages here. I have a desktop version and I have a mobile version. I want to edit my website both for desktop and mobile. Uh, and we can create separate experiences. We'll today, today do desktop, but if you're building a website on Wix, you also, of course, want to ensure that your mobile version is customized for mobile. And we can really create two different experiences, one for desktop users and one for mobile users. Uh, we can undo and redo, Control Z or Command Z, redo, uh, Control Y, Command Y. Those keyboard shortcuts are going to work for us. We can zoom in. Uh, we can zoom in 100% or zoom out to 50% as I'm doing now to really scroll through my page and make sure that everything's laid out beautifully. We have additional tools um, that we can use, uh, things like rulers. I'm just going to zoom in here so we can see what we have. We have a toolbar. Anyone who's used like Photoshop or other editing tools will know that uh, these tools are usually available and we have them too. Alignment tools, uh, distribution tools, and so on and so forth. You can really you know, place things exactly where you want. Um, we have a search. So if I'm not sure where to find one of the tools in my editor, say I want to search for a text element, we'll see that we can add, uh, we can find that and uh, um, go directly to that without uh, too much hassle. And at the top here, we have three important buttons. Number one, our save button. We do have an autosave feature, so that will save for you. But just in case, I always recommend that you hit that save button once in a while. We want to make sure that the connection between you and the Wix servers is still running. So I just Make sure to hit that button once in a while. Preview, so that you can preview your website. I'm actually going to do that now because, hey, why not? This is going to be behind the scenes. Everything that I've edited, we don't see much now. It's exactly the same as the template that we saw before. And when I'm ready, or even when I'm not ready, I'm going to hit here the Publish button. And this is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to save my website for me. And number two, it's going to create, hey, why don't I do this now? A URL, an actual link that my users who or my visitors can visit. So I'm just going to make this my bad website and I can go and save and continue. And that now has launched my website to be live, even though I haven't done anything. I'm doing this on purpose because we're at the bad website club and I can get it out there. So anyone here can go visit the site. Now you saw the long URL there. Uh, this is going to be a free version and, and websites on Wix are free to build initially when you're ready to upgrade. Uh, to a uh, uh, a paid version, which will allow you to connect the domain and accept payments and other things, that would be great. But in the meantime, anyone could go and um, and visit that uh, um, uh, that URL now that I've just published. Okay, that's going to publish there in a second. There we go. Okay, great. So now um, we get have an idea of a couple of the tools that we have. Um, Ramon, I'm just going to zoom out just. A teensy weensy bit. I hope that that's still okay for everyone. If not, please let me know. And I'm going to close my toolbar in the meantime, because I want to get to editing. I want to play around with the tools that I've briefly introduced. And we're going to be scratching the surface here of what we're capable of doing with Wix. Guys, there's a lot more. Okay, a lot more. But let's go through the logic of generally what a website, how a website is created, and the layout, what should work for us, but also how we work with on Wix. Okay, 
And here again, remember that we're trying to make things easy for you uh, to go through that creation process so that you can put the emphasis on the creativity and less on the digging with code and you know a ton of other things. So basically when we build a website, we want to divide it into sections. And you can see here we have a section okay, called welcome. And if I scroll down, we have another section here called about and so on and so forth. And that's the logic that we're going to follow on Wix. We can add and delete sections. Actually, let's go here and um, let's delete this section just for fun. Okay, I hit delete on my keyboard and it's gone. And if I wanted to add a different section, I can just go and add a section and look at that. It's opened here, the second button here on our left, and we can go and add any one of the pre-selected, uh, pre-designed sections that we have. So here, something about maybe, um, maybe you want to add a gallery for our unicorn website. Um, so I can add any one of these uh, sections that have come pre-designed by uh, our Wix designers, just drag that in. And it's that easy to start adding content and uh, um, and sections to uh, to our sites. And so if I go down here, it's going to take a second, um, and that's going to be added. Oh, I think there we go. So here we go. Our collection. We can see that. And here we've got a gallery, which has already been ad been added to our site. Um, and that's great. So we we can add different sections. We can play around with the layout of our site. But within each section, we can go ahead and start customizing it. And there are two ways to do this. When I select here, let's just say our top section, okay, our welcome section, you'll see that within that, I have the various texts and other things here. Now, if I just want to make a couple of edits to my text, I can go and use this quick edit area here that we have on the side. Just Again, if anyone missed that, I'm going to go back and highlight my section. Oops, there we go. Highlight my, let's go back and highlight my section. Even if I just hover over it, by the way, this should this should appear. And quick edit here on the left or quick edit here on the right. And that's going to bring up all the different content that we have. So I can change my background. I can change my title. Let's go ahead and make that the future is a unicorn. Remember that we, um, um, we're talking about unicorns you know, for whatever fun reason. Um, and I can, again, go ahead and change my background here that we have. And you'll see that, again, we can change it to color images. What I'm basically doing throughout the creativity process here is just clicking and exploring, okay? Uh, and there are a ton of tools, like we said on Wix. You're not going to break our systems or you're not going to do anything terrible by clicking and trying something. And that's what I would, would encourage you to do. So in this case, I'm going to change it here to an image. Our media manager will pop up and it'll ask, where do we want to take an image from? I could upload images from my computer or I could import them from various places, as you see over here, from Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, Google Photos, and so on and so forth. Or I can take from our media from Wix, which is a free library of images. That's what we're seeing over here. From Shutterstock, which is uh, the world's largest um, uh, paid uh, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, website for images or from Unsplash, which is another free, um, you know, gallery of images. So I'm just going to search here for unicorns. Okay. For, from Unsplash in this case, and I'm going to scroll down and see, and actually they have some beautiful unicorns over here. I'm going to take this guy. Okay. And change my background. And you'll see here within a second, if I go back to here to my strip background, that that guy is there. He's hiding a little bit behind, um, uh, our additional section over here, but we're, we're going to fix that in a second um, so we can see him in all his beautiful unicornness. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to exit the quick edit over here, uh, over there, because again, we, we, we edited a few things, and this would be great to use again as we scroll through our website. And if we want to change just a couple of the, uh, um, um, you know, the text or whatever. Uh, but now we have to actually go ahead and, and edit this so that we can see our unicorn. Uh, so again, I'm just going to go ahead and click. And when I click on, let's just say, a section, you'll see that, again, I can start editing things here, like, let's just say, our strip. Okay, and if I move this thing around, so remember, we're a fully drag and drop um, um, uh, system over here. So I can move things up and down. And this strip is actually layered on top of our section. So basically, our, our section is a container. Within that, in this case, we have a strip. And you can see that that's that gradient that we have from the template and if it's a black gradient with an autonomous car maybe that works over well you know that works kind of well but here we're talking about unicorns so i don't want this over here i want to show my unicorn in all his beautiful unicorns and there it's gone and i can see my text again and i'm actually going to go ahead and again highlight the section drag it down so we can 
again, get a little bit more space here, go ahead and select this strip. Remember our strip is living within our section. And again, just drag that down. And basically pretty intuitive. Whatever I click on, I can edit. I can just start moving things around. You got to just play with it so that you can, again, get that, uh, um, that experience that you're looking for and create that layout that you're looking for. So great, here we have our unicorn. We can see him. He's not an autonomous car anymore. Uh, we have, we've edited our text, but again, you know, we may want to start editing what this looks like. And we're not talking about here our quick edit. We want to now, you know, just to edit our text here, we're talking about editing our, um, the, what this is going to look like. Okay, and here's an important thing to remember. Whenever we're working with Wix, or two important things to remember. Whenever we're working with Wix, I can just drag things around. So look at that. I want my unicorn here to appear here on the left. I could drag that over there. I want it to appear on the right. I can drag it there. What I want to be careful of is not dragging it outside of these grid lines because that's determining the margins of the desktop uh, uh, website that we have right now. Um, but basically within that, I can start making things smaller and bigger. Basically, as if you'd use PowerPoint you know, for a presentation, would be the same idea here. So let's go ahead. We'll place that just for the fun of it here on the left. Maybe we'll make this text box a little bit smaller. And now I want to edit what this text is going to look like. Whenever we highlight, and this is the second thing that I wanted to mention, whenever, whenever we highlight one of our um, elements on Wix, we're going to get this menu over here, which is going to say exactly what we can do with that element. So here I'm highlighting a text element. We've got edit text. We've got create AI text, which is one of our latest features and the most exciting. If anyone is thinking, wait, is that chat GPT? Yes, we'll talk about that and I'll demo that in just a couple of minutes. We can animate this, set this as a link. And this is something also too impor important to remember. We always help have a first line of help available to you. When I click on this, you'll see that it opens our knowledge base, which will explain exactly what we can do with the elements that we've currently highlighted. So with the text, that's exactly what we can do with it. If I now scroll down and let's take, um, I don't know, a gallery, and I highlight this, you can see what we can do with this. We can manage the media, go in and edit our settings, determine exactly how this is going to stretch to the width of our website, and again, get help on our gallery. So again, if you're not sure what to do with any sort of element, all you need to do is click. Let's go back to our text element. Again, we wanted to edit this. So I'm going to edit this text, okay? And we're not, we said we're, we, we said the future is a unicorn. We already changed that in our quick edit. But here, maybe we want to make it, I don't know, laid out, if I go down to the bottom here, to the left. And maybe, I don't know, we want to change the font size to be something more, um, you know, playful, maybe something like that. Again, don't get me on design, guys. I myself am not a designer, but we're playing around and having fun and seeing what we can do. We're going to change that color here to be white. Okay, and again, that's looking kind of okay. Maybe just for the fun, but we'll also add a shadow here so that we can see that text a little bit be better. And then, okay, the future is a unicorn with, you know, fun letters. We do the same thing here with um, our uh, tagline text here below. I'm going to lay that out here, put that here to the left, change that to be white. Okay, and maybe, uh, maybe um, should we leave that text or not? I don't know, for the hell of it. We're just going to, you know, change that text to be this. Again, I wouldn't recommend, you know, adding too many fonts to your website, but for the fun of it, we're just going to change this to be uh, this size font and museo, uh, um, uh, museo font. Uh, and I'm just going to do something here. I'm going to click to save this theme. And what this is going to do is anything that's determined to be a paragraph one text categorizes that type of text. It's going to update it anywhere on the website. So we'll see that in a little bit. Okay. Um, and remember, I said that we have some AI that's already integrated into Wix. So here it is. Again, create that AI text. Let's see what this can do. When we say AI text creator, it's going to ask us for basically a chat GPT style prompt. So maybe uh, I want to give it some information here, like what business type are, are you? I'm a store. Uh, I'm Unicorns Inc. Okay, because I sell unicorns. This is kind of like a title text, okay, which is, um, I don't know, something like uh, a welcome text. Well, let's actually do a paragraph because we can demo like what we can uh, show here. Um, and this is what, what is important for, for us to mention. This is going to be a tagline about unicorns that we sell. Uh, we ship globally. 
Um, God, we need some two L's, I think. Uh, and that's it. And let's see what this does. So we're going to go now to chat GPT. We're going to get some ideas and that's going to bring it straight into Wix. Um, now these are kind of long text. Maybe it's not right for here. Okay. But we're going to maybe, uh, copy this text and put it somewhere else, but I could also use that text and it's going to place it in over here, but I'm just going to leave this here like that. Okay. So instead saying, of saying, saying, discover the self level with autonomy, we're going to discover our awesome unicorns. Okay. And that's all we need to do, guys, is just click and edit and drag and drop and do some other stuff. Okay. That's just everything that we want. Okay. I'm just going to take that text that we saw before. You'll see that our paragraph text is also changed over here. Uh, I'm going to paste that AI text here at the bottom, lay that out a little bit better because it should be like that. Play around with it so I get the text that I want to fit exactly where I want. Okay. And I'm just jumping down to my second section, which we'll touch on in a second, but there we go. Up until now, what I've done is I've I've edited, I've moved things around, I've played with things, I've you know changed the text and so on and so forth. But of course, it's our website. Maybe we want to add things. Okay. So where do we do that? I'm going to go here to our trusty add elements button. And I promised you that this would be a lot. And here it is a lot. Okay. I, we have text elements, we have images, buttons, full on strips uh, that again, live within our sections. Um, basically a ton of stuff that you can add and a lot of creativity here that you can bring to the table, basically with any one of these elements. So if I now wanted to just say add a button, because I always believe in adding a call to action button at the top uh, of our website. So people know what we want them to do. All they need to do is drag that onto my website, place it where I want. Again, use the menu that we have here, uh, to change our text and icons. So I'm just going to say, I want a unicorn okay. and then link that up. And in this case, I'm just going to link to, I don't know, one of our, you know, one of our other pages it doesn't matter because, you know, again, if I was building this as a real website, I'd actually create the page and link to it, but that that's it. That's all there is to do. If I say, if I want to add a button, maybe I'll just stretch this out so we can see that we actually sell unicorns. Okay, and I could, again, if I wanted to dive into it, customize the design of this button um, fully to, you know, however I want it to, to, uh, to look. And we're not going to dive into everything. Like I said, there's a ton of options over here. Um, but again, we can go and make it our own. Okay, so I'm going to move on from our top section over here down to our next section. And again, this is very looking, looking like a, an autonomous car section. We don't necessarily want this. We want things to look more of like, unicorns and be more, you know, fluff and fun. So what can we do as well? What other tools do we have that are worth you discovering? So again, let's look at our section over here and then look at the strip. I double click within the section to get to our strip. You'll see that in this case, this strip is divided into two columns. So we can take a strip and divide it into up to four or five columns um, and create the layouts that we want. So again, I want to move from an autonomous car section to a, you know, fluffy, fun, pink unicorn section. Um, and if I go and change the background of um, within our strip, we can make this a lot more fun than what it is now. So I'm actually going to click here within this column. Um, and again, because we have this image, here, I'm going to change the column background to be something else. In this case, by the way, not necessarily an image. I want to go for, uh, let's go for a color. Okay, let's just leave that. No, white is very boring, right? So let's go and change that to a gradient. Okay, and here you can see we are getting a little bit more creative. I want to actually make this a radial gradient. That's going to be, how about we go with like a cool pink or something? Yeah, let's make it, yeah, let's make it that pink. Okay. And we're going to set that somewhere here in the middle. Um, something like that. Okay, and I actually want to leave this, let's leave this like whitish. Okay, there we go. Okay. And we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come over here to this black column background and change that again to be oops excuse me to be uh, a color and instead of a basic boring color we're going to create a radial gradient that's going to go that way guess what we're going to make it just like we had before a mirror image okay oops we want to switch those around actually there we go change that to be that same pink that we had uh, before, oops, and that has to be, we said, white, so I could change this down to, you know, the opacity to be uh, zero. Oh, we want that on that side. Here we go, eventually we'll get it. Okay, 
Oh, no, let's change that to be white. And we'll make the opacity 100%. Oops. Again, change it to white. There we go. Play around with it just a little bit more. And then this is, again, a ton of options that we have here in terms of gradients. This is not necessarily everything that we can do. Um, but create something like that that's going to look almost like that. Now, again, if I was going to put an emphasis on this, we could create one gradient that's going to look uh, linear and go uh, in from, um, uh, from the right and from the left, from white to a pink. But this is good enough for us to play around with. I'm hoping that you guys get the idea. Um, and what we want to do maybe here is also add something that's going to be visually more appealing than an autonomous car. I'm going to go back to our add elements over here. And we could add an image, OK, over here. I could drag an image over here and just place it, You know, make it my own. OK, obviously go and add a different unicorn. Uh, actually, let's do that. Let's find another unicorn okay, because we are talking about unicorns. Perfect. There's an illustration. Okay. And we could crop that now to look a little bit better. Okay. We could reset that crop, oops, excuse me, uh, to our entire image if we wanted to. Now, what we could also do is we could create a crop uh, with, within a shape, or meaning a, sh a, sh a, a shape crop that, if I go back in here, uh, that we can see, oh, excuse me. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip that for now. But you can create shape crops that uh, that will also give you different ways of cutting different images. And and a couple of the uh, links that uh, I sent to Ramon and Jess that hopefully they'll share with you. When you launch Wix websites uh, that that use that, you'll see that the shape crops really can be anything that you want. So you could upload your own crop there, move them around uh, within your image, and so on and so forth, and come up with the with your own uh, with your own design. Now, if that's not enough for you, we also have something very cool. If I go back here to um, our uh, our menu, we can also add additional things like creative um, uh, vector art and the fun of vector art. Uh, if I just add a fox here for the fun of it, okay, is that first of all, we can add this to be as big or small as we want. So this fox could be on my entire website and he's not going to lose any of his, you know, we're not going to get any pixelation or anything because he's what's known as an SVG. He's basically a vector art which can be stretched you know, as big or small as we want. Um, and we can also design him differently. So we can, you know, say, okay, I want you to take the colors of my website and I want you to be now, you know, all of my like a pink fox, you know, blend in with my background, okay? And uh, this is really cool because if I have vector art uh, that I want to take from somewhere else, maybe I have uploaded something that, uh, um, that I've got from a design or whatever it is, and I want to take on the theme of my website, you don't need to go into any sort of external program, change the colors there, and then upload it. No, you can do that everything here within within Wix. So here again, we can take those visuals, place them wherever we want. You know, move them between uh, these grid lines. Again, I do recommend keeping everything within our grid lines so that we don't uh, um, we don't lose any sort of um, um, uh, uh, anyone on the desktop, especially on a desktop, that they that we're not going to see. Them. And there's enough padding here that allows us to be really creative with our design. Um, and again, just go through our page and just edit everything that we want. So let's do another one just for the fun of it. I'm going to delete that section you know, because I don't necessarily need it. I'm going to go back down here to this section. Let's just say we want to talk about our text instead of text uh, of, you know, autonomo in numbers. We're going to talk about unicorns in numbers. OK, maybe I like this section. I really like that it's designed with, you know, this type of text. Maybe I want to edit the text itself and just you know, play around with that. And this is, again, I'm not going to put any emphasis on design, you know, too much design at the moment, just more about showing you guys the functionality and what you can do to, to bring your creative juices here. Um, but it's, you know, again, I don't, I don't like this robot arm. Let's just, you know, you know, take this column background and make it blank. And we want to put something else here. Again, what, what can we put over here? So let's go back to our trusted add elements menu and see. If I go down here to our videos, you'll see that we have something very cool called transparent video. And what these are are designs that if I drag, let's just take a horse and add it to our um, our uh, our canvas over here. I can also make this you know, actually pretty big relative to you know what uh, what we think we can do with it. Let's just place him here within our grid lines uh, and go ahead and preview this. You'll see that our horse is going to be a video with a transparent background that's going to be here you know, on our blank canvas. So I could actually place here, if I wanted to, 
Um, let's just say also, oops, excuse me, I clicked on a preview again. If I wanted to add here, you know, something that's going to live next to this horse, underneath this horse, or wherever it is next, you know, uh, in relation to this horse, you'll see here if I uh, if I now send that, I arrange that and move that backwards, that our horse is going to live above our text. Okay, and again, we can see that we have a transparent background uh, with the video. A lot of people try to do this with GIFs, uh, uh, you know, GIF files. GIF files are a lot more, a lot heavier than uh, using actually the video. So we can go ahead and layer things one on top of the other and this is going to run beautifully smoothly you know, so that anyone visiting our website can really see our designs one on top of the other now i know we're running probably slightly out of time um jess i want to be and and uh, ramon i want to be uh, um thoughtful of time so we can also open up open up for, for questions uh but generally guys again that's how we're going to work on creating a page on wix uh we're going to go through we're going to edit things we're going to move things around we're going to you know play around with it um and you know customize it to be our own the last thing I'm going to emphasize um, here is, if you remember, we spoke about uh, our ad elements. We spoke about sections briefly here. Just well, let's talk about pages. We have all the pages that we have here on our current website. If I wanted to add a new page, it's, it's as simple as going and adding a new page. We have pre-designed pages because we want you to work smart and quick and not necessarily to work hard. So if I like one of these designs about any one of these uh, categories, I can go ahead and do that. Or if I have, again, the same creative juices that I want to bring to the table, I don't necessarily need to start from something. I can start from, you know, um, from blank. So my best unicorns and add that page. And that's going to add a blank page here that I can start creating on. That's going to do everything for me behind the scenes. So I can go here to my settings and see that already I have um, a URL that I can link to. And I can go ahead and, you know, create any link that's going to go to this page. All that's left for me to do is start designing mess around play around and create whatever i want here you know for my own design so let's go back here to our home page okay and that's about adding pages um remember i spoke about this about site designs okay and um here's where we can go and customize everything on our website pretty quickly so let's see the difference if i go here and customize this basically i can take any one of our out of the box themes so i want here a you know blue website okay uh or i want a greenish website or if i want something that's more creamy i can go ahead and just click and change the entire uh um feel the look and feel of my website and this is going to give me both a color palette and it's going to give me um uh different fonts that we know work together pretty well but again maybe we don't want to necessarily use every single one of you know the, the portions of this you know maybe i you know don't want to necessarily have the screen may maybe I want to change it to something different. So I can go and customize that color theme. And here's where I can customize each one of my colors within that palette. So let's just say I want to change uh, this color of the green. I want to make it something that's going to be, I don't know, maybe a little bit more yellow. You can see as I scroll over here and change things, that's going to change what's happening on my site. So maybe I want to make it a little bit more blue. Okay. And see what's happening there at the top. Maybe again, you can see where this green is on my website. Maybe I want that also to be a different blue. And obviously, if you have your hex codes or if you have, you know, RGB, you can place those in. If you have exactly what uh, um, uh, what you uh, what you want to uh, um, exact the exact colors that you need to place in that. That's you know obviously very easy. But again, you can see how quickly this is. Um, uh, you know, so so how quickly it is to, to to go and change the look and feel of a site. And we can do the same thing here with uh with our text so we can go ahead and change all of our text you remember we changed our paragraph one text we want to change any of our heading texts our paragraph text is going to change that same text that we uh, uh that we changed before which was paragraph one if i'm not mistaken okay let's go change that to be something different just so that we can show exactly that what's the what that's going to look like and this is the same uh a font uh, sorry color palette that we spoke about before but i'm going to change there we go there's our color th that's changed on our text basically guys you can see how badly i've designed this website but look how fun and how much fun i'm having i'm really smiling because i love playing around with this tool not because i work at wix but because of the creativity that you can bring to the table um so again in a nutshell those are very again scratching the surface of what we're capable of doing on wix um and there's a lot more. I'm going to leave this open so that you guys can get an idea of what is of what we're capable of offering here and what, what you can dive into. Everything from galleries, you know, to boxes, uh, to uh, contact forms. We want to become you know a little, bit, a little bit more functional. 
repeaters, which are basically like these really, really, really cool um, lists, which you can, you know, go start designing. You design one and they repeat themselves and so on and so forth. All that you have to do is start trying Wix.com. There's the link um, on uh, uh, on the screen uh, and dive into it because, again, I think you'll love it. Um, Ramon, I'm going to pause over here and ask um, if we want to open it up for questions right now. Absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and so first of all, okay, okay, I'm going to be a little, a little bit all over the place. Let's remove your screen. You have that was wonderful. Thank you so much. I would love to ask folks in the chat to please bring in questions and bring in some love for you. Like, you know, some emojis, some thank yous. Like this is super cool what you've done showing us. And I uh, cannot wait to start uh, playing around with this. So folks, let me give you an idea of what's going to happen next. Um, we're going to do some Q and A with you of, we are gonna, um, tomorrow at the same time, come on stream, just me and Jess, and we're going to try making something hopefully as good as what you have has, has done today. Oh, you'll make way better. It'll be way better. <laughs> um, thank you. So, um, in the meantime, we've got some homeworks for you, friends. Uh, some homework. Go and make a website with Wix between today and tomorrow. Send it to us. And, uh, you know, if it's, you know, something we can show, <laughs> um, we'd love to show it. Like, we'll take a look at it and make sure it's good enough. But like, it's, it's, it's good for showing, but not good enough. It's going to be great. But it's, you know... Safe to show, and we'll 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 show it off. Like, folks, please, of course, as Jess very correctly says, this is optional homework. We're not the boss of you. And uh, yeah, to start trying Wix, www.wix.com. Um, you have once again, thank you so much. We've actually got quite a few questions, and let's ooh ooh ooh. I would actually hmm. We have a few questions, but I kind of want to lead with one of my own. Do you have some? Do you have some websites you've made with Wix that you would like to share with us? Ooh, I have made many websites for friends and family. <laughs> I mean, if you've um, someone you'd like to show to the yeah, to sh sh I'll do. I'll do some some shameless self promotion. Hey, why not? Um, hey, that's, that's okay what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I mean, share. yeah, I, I, you can share. You can go ahead and share. Um, I'll share with a little bit of a background. Um, I've been doing photography for years, right? And and photography is a very big hobby of mine. Um, and then I went ahead and bought a drone and started just like traveling around Israel, my, you know, my, my home country and just, you know, doing some like drone photography stuff. Now, this was a terrible website initially. I mean, I started just like, you know, posting things online and so on and so forth. But like, uh, I started a website which looked as terrible as my unicorn website. And over time, like I, you know, started understanding exactly what the user experience needs to be like and so on and so forth. And that's, this is what came out of it was a portfolio of images um, that, uh, that, that really just show Israel from a totally different angle. Now, one thing that I think is important to remember when building a website is that what you're going to show and what should I think be at the center that, you know, the focus is the content. Obviously, like if we're talking about, if I go back to my terrible unicorn website, uh, which is over here, um, with the first thing that everyone is seeing is, is obviously the content. So when you're letting your content shine, that's going to be obviously the, you know, the star of the show. And often I think people, you know, find ways to like hide the content or they're not fully confident about, you know, their, their content and everything. It took me personally a long time. If I go again to the launch party, uh, not to be a perfectionist and just show what you do. And this is what came out of this. You know, I, there's nothing here that's too crazy. Um, but this is, you know, this is, uh, this is what came out of it. An image that switches out through a gallery every few seconds. And Hey, look, there are sharks, you know, the guy swimming with sharks or so on and so forth. Um, so really, again, I think, you know, simplicity, which we see here in both our uh, templates and also like, you know, again, just playing around with this. I think, I think that wins. And that's what I try to apply to like all my different websites. And then, um, we also have just for you guys, if you wanted to explore yourselves, a couple of websites that, um, that are worth, um, uh, you know, you know, learning from, or you're getting some sort of inspiration. So you actually have, if I go back to our templates page, a few links that you should, you know, have a look at. First, first of all, here if you, uh, we have here at the top these resources, and we have a few things here. You have um, all the tools and features that Wix offers. 
Uh, we have Wix Learn, which is basically our academy so that you can go ahead and, you know, learn everything about Wix. And this is wix.com slash learn. Uh, you know, tons of, of things that will go way beyond what, you know, we have the time for today. Uh, but we have this, you know, design inspiration, which you guys can go ahead and see what people have built with Wix and, you know, you know, borrow their ideas or get inspiration and use it for your own. Um, but there's a ton here that, you know, will be, uh, you know, way more professional than, you know, than, than me. And, and I, I take a lot of inspiration from here as well. So long answer to your question. Yes, I have built websites. Yes, I am proud, proud of some of them. My website, I think, I think I take ownership and I'm super proud of it. Um, but there's a lot more out there with, within Wix that you guys can learn from and, you know, and, uh, uh, and, and make your own. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Yoav. Now, okay, I've, I've hugged the questions long enough. Let's uh, let's bring in some of your questions. We've got a question here from Tanya, who's asking, is the plain HTML code accessible, editable, or hidden? Can a site be migrated to other providers or not due to proprietary code? So excellent question. We get that often. Right now, as Wix currently is, um, the code itself is built by our own uh, viewer, by, by by Wix itself. So we take, um, you know, your your everything or everything that you're designing here. If you wanted to move your text to be over here or over here, we take that into account, um, and we build the HTML and the CSS from that. Now, can you edit that code currently? Uh, no. Um, but you can, uh, if you do want to add additional uh, features and capabilities that you've designed uh, yourself, uh, you can enable our dev mode. I'm not going to do this at the moment, but uh, you can enable our dev mode and add additional code on top of that. So if you now wanted to make the text, you know, scroll in and scroll out and do other stuff that, again, what, whatever it is that you want to do, you can go ahead and enable that. And we have a full API reference, which you can go ahead and uh, explore so that you can, you know, make your website your own. And um, if there are any professionals here or if there's anyone who's striving to be a professional, you know, uh, and wants to add Wix to their toolbox, um, it's worth getting to know Velo, which is our development platform, um, so that you can turn around websites built on Wix a lot quicker than I believe that you can do on other platforms. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the long answer to the question. Currently, uh, not possible also to migrate, uh, to other providers. Uh, but we believe in, again, making the, 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 uh, um, the design and build process as easy as possible. So you can concentrate on things like, again, adding some JavaScript and, you know, behavioral stuff to, to the website that you're building. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's bring out the next question. Ooh, ooh, a rumor from Matthew asking, is it true that Facebook and Google use Wix? Good question. I'm actually not sure. I'm sure that they <laughs> use Wix for many things. I mean, I know a ton of, uh, well, various different levels of the customers that we have. Obviously, a lot of small businesses, DIY portfolios, profiles for you know individuals and so on and so forth, startup companies larger companies that have used Wix. I, I cannot say that I know for sure that Facebook and Google use Wix. I know that we um, um, that we connect very well and we integrate with Facebook uh, and with Google. So Facebook Pixel and, uh, you know, Google AdSense and obviously uh, analytics and so on and so forth. We have very easy integrations that you can just with, you know, again, no code or embedding any sort of, you know, um, you know snippets or whatever. Just go ahead, paste your, uh, like, and just take analytics, for example, paste your analytics code within Wix, within our marketing integrations, and boom, you're done. Within a few minutes, you see, you know, your uh, your analytics come up. So those integrations, those deep integrations we have, say that uh, we they actually use Wix as a website platform. Um, no, but again, strong integrations. Awesome. No, ooh, we got a question from somebody familiar here. Uh, that's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're hugging, we'll, you're hugging this, but I love it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, we'll get, to, we'll get to as many questions as we can. Um, will Wix automatically add attributions for images? Um, so we do. Uh, we do yeah. add um, what, we, you know, what we call uh, alt text um, to cool. images. Um, and, Could you tell uh, us what that, that is? So alt sorry. text, uh, basically, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So uh, alt text is basically a text description of what's in the image. And that's used for two things. Number one, I believe really most importantly is for accessibility. Because if I am using a screen reader because I can't see my screen, I need a description of what's in that image. Um, 
And we have millions of, of, of people around the world who use assistive technologies, things like screen readers. And we want to also provide them um, a fluid experience online. So you definitely want to take that into account when you're building your website. And one of the most important things is to add, again, that alternative text or alt text uh, to images. Now, we do all add that automatically. or We try to add that automatically. But it's always worthwhile going going ahead and going to the settings of the image and adding the context of that image. So if I have a picture of myself as a business owner, the alternative text, the alt text for that could be, you know, you have Kona, you you have Kona, uh, owner of, you know, point of view, uh, the point of view blog or whatever it is. Um, and uh, that's also relevant. I said it's relevant for accessibility, but also relevant for Google. Once Google uh, SEO search engine optimization sees that I've added these, uh, you know, alt text and they see that they have been customized for my website, it'll rank me a little bit higher because it knows that I'm serious about my website. So we do try to automatically add these, but again, um, it's worth your while going ahead and making sure that your, all your images have these set uh, accordingly and also, you know, within context of, you know, how they're appearing on your website. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Matthew's asking if you can use Wix for a social media kind of site. Of course, um, definitely. I, um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly like what, uh, you know, what we're referring to in terms of, you know, a social media style site, because that can go to a few directions. But mm. in a nutshell, uh, if you're you know, looking for a personal portfolio where you're looking to, you know, highlight your own social media presence, definitely. Um, things like Linktree. So I know people who have created, you know, their own .com address and just added like their links to their different social media. Um, very easy to do would be a couple of buttons and a background and you customize it to however you want. Uh, things like a digital calling card, uh, very easy. We obviously have the integrations where you can embed your own Instagram and Facebook feed if you'd like to. Um, those things are available to add really out of the box from that same add element uh, um, button. In terms of uh, creating more sophisticated things, like if you wanted to have your own social media website, meaning people signing up uh, and having their own portfolio on and their own profile on your website. So think of, you know, Ramon on your ops website, you have your own profile and you connect to other people. Yes, we have something called Wix site members um, and uh, the members area that you will create when you add that uh, to your website will give you a one-stop shop for everything that has that, that you need for your own social media site. So again, depending on what you're looking to do, the answer is more often than not, yes. Um, you can uh, do it with Wix, including creating your own social media style site, whatever that might mean. Awesome. Thank you. Next question from Peter asking, it looks like Wix templates provide the basic HTML and CSS components of a website, right? Correct, As yes. Correct. If so, does this make learning HTML and CSS less important? Um, because I'm a freak of knowledge, I want to say that, yeah, you need to know <laughs> HTML and CSS. You should, because it's always going to help you with, I don't know if you're going to you know, integrate other things or you want to add additional code to your website. Um, but if you're a, you know, if you're a designer and you want to start working with a tool like Wix, yeah, that's, that's why we have it. So you don't necessarily need to, um, dive into the HTML and the CSS and, you know, uh, and other stuff. So yeah, I know people personally who have full blown, um, you know, web agencies where they do 99% of their things with no code. And that's based on Wix, um, the drag and drop interface will allow us again to, you know, to create, have a lot of creativity and, and, you know, uh, just, you know, uh, go all out there with, you know, with what we want to design. Um, so does it make it less important as a knowledge person? I want to say no. As uh, someone who's work, who works with Wix a lot, obviously, um, yeah, it's not necessarily something that you need to know to even create your own full-blown web agency. Love it. Thank you. So we got a question from Der von den Bergen asking, I missed the start of the transparent video. Does Wix simply have to use... Have, does Wix simply have those to use or did Wix make the video somehow transparent? So basically you can upload your own transparent videos and I'm gonna that bring means, in your screen real quick. Yep, sure. I have highlighted my transparent video already. If I go here, if I've highlighted my horse um, and I go to change video, you'll see that we have that same screen of uploading media. So I could upload my own video here to Wix and as long as it's ha it has, the video has what's called an alpha channel, so a transparent channel, um, we should be able to pick that up and use that. 
Uh, if I wanted to use something here that was, you can see, this is these are also designed by other people, not necessarily uh, Wix people. So here, this is by Alexander. Um, if I wanted to change this to be a flower. Again, this flower has a, an alpha channel. If I go to add to page, and that's going to switch out my horse. Um, that alpha channel is going to again sit here and you know um, overlay where it needs to overlay on our heading text um, and go behind or, or our heading text will appear where that alpha channel appears. So as long as you have that now, I would recommend if you are a video people to go and explore that, how you create transparency in your videos, uh, mostly with you know computer graphics and so on and so forth. Once you upload that to Wix, uh, it should um, we should be able to pick up on that and uh, yeah, you'll have your own transparent video. Uh, one thing I'll mention here is also you can go into the settings here and um, again add an alt text. We spoke about alt text before as well. That's as important here to uh, uh, to tell Google about it. Um, and again for accessibility and also determine the behavior. So you know is it going to pause? Um, is going to play automatically or not? And so on and so forth. Uh, so a lot of flexibility within our transparent videos. And yeah, you can make them your own. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for the questions too. Oh, hey, we got a question for us. Will the Bad Website Club teach HTML and CSS? Uh, yes, we will be having, um, after, after we'll be having in between some of the seasons, we'll be doing our boot camps that you've seen before, where we teach uh, web development and JavaScript with the free code camp materials in collaboration with, uh, with, uh, with all of you who are joining and, and dedicated speakers and learners. It's gonna be wonderful. Um, so watch this space. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for the question. Move on to the next one. Uh, ah, got a question here from Peter. Yoav, can you show what the mobile display renders? Sure. I, yep, there we go. There's my screen. Okay. So what does our mobile display render? If I go from the um, desktop viewer to the mobile viewer, this is going to render initially uh, the same version of our website with all the elements that we uh, that we see. Let's go there and click, and there we go. It's going to try and adapt my website as best possible to mobile. Okay, now here I've made a very big mishmash of... Um, of, of a website, but you can see here that it's tried to do its best to add everything to the same sections and so forth. And I can go ahead and just, you know, um, move that down or up in terms of sections and I can edit everything as I did on the, uh, on the desktop version. This is not going to hurt anything on the desktop version. Mobile is mobile, desktop is desktop. I can delete stuff, say I don't want necessarily to, to have that element over there, so I can hide that. Okay, that's not actually deleting the element um, from my website. It's still there, but it's hidden for mobile. And I can also customize and add to mobile any one of these elements. So I can embed code, I can add buttons, text, images, and so forth. Um, just add a title just for the fun of it. And that's going to be added to my mobile version only. Um, so yeah, a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, mobile. You also see that we have a hamburger menu that's been added over here. Um, and that's going to uh, obviously render a mobile uh, you know, menu. Um, that's all out of the box. And again, you can go ahead and customize this, you know, to, to your liking. So in a nutshell, that's, um, that's what it looks like. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, let's get a couple more questions. We're going to go through these a little bit quicker so we can make sure everybody gets them answered. So a uh, question from Boogie Pop asking, can we add transitions and animations to elements on the website? Can we do something like more advanced, like, selling products and receiving payments. I think I may as well leave my, my screen open because we're going to go back and forth. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can we add animations? Of course. Um, we have here, uh, let's just say our text. If we wanted to now add an animation to that, we have out-of-the-box animations that we can add here. We can go crazy and add things like bouncing. This kind of reminds me of like, you know, PowerPoints back in the 90s. So yes. I think we want to be a little bit, you know, <laughs> subtle. Again, bad website, bad website. But again, we go to the idea of, you know, like, you know, how bad do we want it to be, but not also, you know, um, how, how, you know, how do we want the experience to feel for uh, users that maybe are like a little bit sensitive to, you know, to, uh, uh, to movement on the screen. Yeah. Um, so things like, a you know, crazy spin in, maybe not necessarily, uh, but we can go ahead and customize this and say, okay, I don't necessarily want two spins. I can make this, you know, 0 0.5 spin, have that go counterclockwise. You can see that. Um, that's a little bit, you know, Ooh. you know, um, 
Uh, let's just make the sand soft, soften it as much as possible. But we can play around with these animations, and these are relevant for ninety percent of the elements that we have on, uh, you know, on Wix. I can do that with a button. We'll see that same animation button over here um, with our vectors that we add and our images. Um, we'll see that also um, in other places, but we won't see it with a gallery. So again, it's limited to certain things. And if I go into the world of code, so we have an additional API where we can go ahead and create our own animations. Again, anyone who's interested, go ahead and check that out. Now, can we sell things like um, products, receive payments and so forth? Of course, I didn't touch on this button. It's called add apps. But if I do touch Ooh. on it now, it's the perfect, the perfect time to, um, you'll see that we have here a ton of third party apps that we can add to our website. But from Wix, we have a ton of business solutions that we can add. Things like stores, if I'm selling my time, say I'm a hairdresser, things like Wix bookings, blogs, uh, restaurant orders, and so on and so forth. We have various, various things um, that we can add. If I, mem I remember, I mentioned uh, a members area, so our Wix members, um, that uh, if uh, we want to create our own social media site, um, all of these are free to install and try. So anything that you'll be building on Wix, say if you want to sell um, you know, products, let's just add this for the fun of this to uh, our site. But this is going to do is add everything that we need, our product page, our payment solution, our checkout, even behind the scenes, a CRM system and everything else that's already built into Wix, by the way. Um, but all that's left for me to do is go and add my products and start selling. Um, we'll have to add a payment provider here. And in order to receive payments, uh, we will have to upgrade to a premium um, uh, on Wix, which will allow us to connect to a .com domain or dot .whatever domain um, that, that, you know, that we choose. Uh, um, but you'll see here again, just with a single click, and I promise you, I'm not touching anything. The entire business solution here for say selling products has been added. And here I've taken to the recommendation to go ahead and add a product. That's pretty much how we get started. So the focus is on, again, your business and not necessarily going ahead and, you know, where do I bring in this, um, this add on and how's this going to work with, you know, the CRM that I installed from a different plugin. No, everything one-stop shop for you to go ahead and add your product in this case, define your shipping regions and then connect a payment method. Okay, wow. <laughs> uh, that's that's incredible. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Got quite time for a couple more questions, so we're going to quickly go through a couple more. Let's go with, uh, oh, uh, how does, from Peter, how does, Peter's got a couple questions. Um, how does commercial site like Wix handle security issues? For example, when you include a text data input data field, how is data handled or protected? Um, excellent question. Security for us is a number one priority. Um, when we go to this, let's go to one of our uh, websites here in our resources. Um, when we open these, let's just take explore the site. You'll notice that when we um, when we open the site, we're always going to have uh, a secure connection. Okay, we make sure that every website that is built on Wix is going to be secured and encrypted. Uh, so that um, whoever's viewing the website can be, again, safe about their security. You as a website owner can be um, uh, sure that uh, whoever's viewing your website, they feel safe and you feel safe. Uh, when it comes to things like um, text inputs, or, or if we have here, let's just go uh, ahead and look at, uh, we'll just highlight this. Uh, things like contact forms. Um, when people input their information, that is also encrypted and goes to the website dashboard, which is like behind the scenes. Oh, that's going to be over here. I actually have one of them open um over here so that's going to go here to behind the scenes where um i can um uh, when i can see that information but all of this is secure excuse me if there's any background noise here um, you're fine but <laughs> uh but basically uh all that is encrypted so you as the, the website owner can uh, see here all your contact members everything uh that's you know who's co you contacted contacting you on your website let me just go ahead and find your communications and find our inbox and form submissions and so on and so forth. This is for you. This is basically your information. We make sure that this is uh, handled privately that appears only for you. No one can share this information beyond, uh, if, unless you've given them access and we do allow access uh, for you to allow access, excuse me, uh, to additional uh, people who may you, who you may want to contribute to your website, but it's a top, top, top priority for, for us, um, 100%. Um, Again, I can go to the higher levels here. If someone is inputting uh, private information, you want to additionally encrypt it uh, within um, 
within the d database that is on your website, there is a way to do that. If anyone needs to, they can contact our customer care team and ask about that. For us, 100% security is a top issue. Thank you so much. Got a question from Alex. How do Wix sites do when it comes to performance? Again, another top issue for us. Um, we want to make sure that Wix websites load as quickly as possible. Uh, it's, a, it's an issue that we're always striving to make, you know, again, keep up with uh, the internet, make sure that uh, we're uh, uh, giving our site owners and our visitors uh, the best experiences possible. Um, we honestly are working to improve this all the time and we're working very closely with Google to improve this all the time in terms of um, our uh, analytics and everything that, uh, that we see on Google. Um, you're, anyone who's building a website on Wix, you can always take your URL um, that uh, uh, that you have over here, input it into any site checker and see. If you're worried about anything about performance, again, that's where you should turn to our customer care team and see you know, how we can improve on that. Now, I will say this. It also depends um, somewhat on, um, on what you're putting on the screen. So as, as a recommendation, I would say if you have, you know, let's just say gallery on, the, on, you know, on your front page and you're going to put one gallery with 20 images, that's great. Okay. If you're going to put five galleries, each of them has 50 images, that's information that has to be loaded. And again, you know, comes from the Wix server going to the site visitor. We have to transfer that information somehow. So you want to also be uh, mindful of how much information you're putting on the page so that you're not hurting the performance of whoever's you know, visiting your website and the experience. But at the same time, if you do have issues in terms of performance cost, you know, contact our customer care team. They'll be happy to look at it. If it's an issue of, again, too much content or uh, um, something that's slowing your website down, they'll be able to see and recommend what you should be doing. And if it's an issue on our side, we want to know about it because we want to make big Wix better. So again, feel free to, cut, to, to, cut, to contact them and we'll touch on uh, how you can cut, uh, contact our customer care teams 24-7. Uh, um, we need to know about issues that we have on Wix so that we can improve and make it better for you guys. Thank you so much. So listen, we're supposed, we're, we're, we're out of time, I'm afraid. Like, Yoav has been so wonderful answering all your questions. Yoav, you good for one more? Yeah, let's do it. Great. And uh, do let us know uh, where is it best to get in touch uh, for further questions. So I'm going to go with one more, which is from Peter asking, uh, once a website is designed, how does Wix treat it from an intellectual property perspective? <clears throat> Pardon me, perspective. Your website is your website. Um, in terms of, you know, the content that you've uploaded that belongs to you, it lives in our servers, but everything belongs to you. We take you no know, ownership of intellectual property, uh, that belongs to you. Um, and we want you to have a good experience. So anything in terms of, you know, GDPR privacy, as we mentioned before, accessibility, all these different things, this is yours. Um, we, uh, even, even, even if it's on a free domain, um, so like we're playing with now, uh, we saw again, that that's, that doesn't belong to Wix as the company that'll belong to your art because again, I upload my images. So that's, that's mine. And again, this is something we want to greatly, you know, sh show great respect for. Um, and we don't want to, um, again, let that leak anywhere else in terms of encryption and other things and the experience it's, again, belongs to you. Um, so yeah, feel free to, upload whatever it is uh, in terms of your visuals, your text, whatever it is. Uh, we, we don't want to take ownership of anything that belongs to any of our users. Again, you're the most important things to us. Uh, without you, again, who's going to create online? So uh, we want you to feel safe and secure that, uh, that you can create with you know the freedom and also with the, the security to know that, again, belongs to you, not to us. Lovely. I think that's a great note uh, to, to end this Q&A. Uh, you have you have been wonderful. Thank you so much for demoing to us. I cannot wait for us to start playing with this tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna put up, folks. I know we didn't, there were some questions we didn't get to answer, but don't worry. I'm gonna post here the link that Yoav has very kindly provided to get in touch with Wix. If you all have any questions, feel feel free to www.wix.com/contact. You have, and, uh, I will... If I can just mention, mention on that, when you contact our customer care teams, they're available for you 24-7 in English. We have other uh, languages that are available. If you're logging in from somewhere around the world, usually we pick up on where you're coming in from, like your geolocation, and we will offer you additional languages. You will meet our chatbot, which is there to help you get the, 
the help that you need. Um, you can always request to speak to a customer care representative, and you can do so in two ways, either via chat or via callback. We can call you to any phone number around the world. So those are the two ways that I re recommend. Again, being in touch with our customer care team, please, please, please give as much information as possible to our care reps because they want to help you. Uh, the minute you give information of, hey, I can't get my image crop to work correctly or whatever it is that you're trying to deal with, they'll be happy to help and to proactively recommend things that you should do on your website to make it more successful. So be in touch with us. We'd love to answer any questions. Um, uh, and again, 24-7 in English. So reach out. Amazing. Thanks again, Yoav. Um, we'll say goodbye to you for now. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in back Jess because we got some stuff to talk about what's next. Hey, Jess. Hello. Hey. How wonderful was that? Right. I was just in back doing little tiny mod things and just having a delightful time listening to that. We're going to have a little bit of a tough time tomorrow making a bad website though, right? I mean, these are tools that, that help you make like the websites that you can make with this. They look fantastic. I mean, obviously, we should just make the whole thing pink, pink text on a pink background. Yeah, just just noisy, <laughs> chaotic. Yes. Bring, bring it all through. Yeah, but so that's the plan, isn't it? We'll meet right back here at the exact same time tomorrow. And we'll just in a very laid back way, try and remember everything we've learned, uh, which obviously you will remember all of it. I won't. Um, and then we'll just try and make a bad website together. And if other folks build a website, amazing, show it to us. I'll be like behind the scenes checking them. Not are they good enough to show up, but like, oh, is there any cussing? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, you will find links to recordings and all of that good stuff on the schedule, badwebsite.club slash schedule. And I think that about does it. Right? Shall we let everybody have a very, very relaxing morning or the middle of the night? Like, wherever you are, the only thing you have to do, well, I mean, aside from the inanities of daily life, the only thing we're going to ask you all is to have a very, very laid back time. Thanks, everybody. And see you next time. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>